WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 9 a.m. market update. The Dow future, the S and P futures are down 13. You can see this long-legged doji candle here. I, I, I'm going to draw this in and let's see what happens over the next week. I think we're in for a choppy phase, limited upside, but just at this particular point, I'd say. Uh, the downside initially could be limited, but at some point, the 4340 area, that's about 60 points, maybe 600 points in the Dow, could become uh, the range bound that we look at for the next uh, week or two. But it really depends on how we, uh, the market responds going into uh, Tuesday of next week. The S&P future, the uh, Dow futures uh, at this particular point, of down 35. Yesterday, the, uh, the downside was exacerbated by UNH's move, very sharp move to the downside. So the Dow, you know, it's part of the Dow. So the Dow, with the general market, to, uh, moved sharply lower, fairly sharply lower. It wasn't all that bad, but it was sharply lower. But it had already been down over 100 points. So today it's down just 36 points. I think it's going to try to get back. I've got a GSAS. It could be a cup formation. Maybe into early next week, we just make a nominal new high, get very close. And then I think we start to go sideways to down. Looking at the NQ, which is the uh, futures for the um, this is the continuous contract, down 78 at six, uh, 15 point, uh, 15,121. This is holding way better. And in all these cases, the technicals in the daily chart and the weekly charts are very strong. It's just the price that has gone a little bit. The price looks extended. And that just says 14,900 to 14,700 is really the area that we're watching for next week as key support. And it could even make a nominal new high. Looking at the RTY, I don't know if I've updated. This is the RTY. No, I haven't. So let's just go to the IWM, which is the contract itself. An alternate count. Holding is down $1.17 and 184.74. It's had a fabulous run for, to the upside on the daily chart. The weekly chart is making the second u shape formation. So there again, we've got 175, 178 is good support. It's at 147. And I think it could, it could possibly even hit 190. Looking at the bonds right now, the bonds pull back sharply. As, uh, no, now they're up. Up 15, they're up a half a point. That's because the yields are coming down a little bit. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Great, great uh, programming coming up. Tommy Jr. comes right up with the, uh, the market kickoff. Have a great day.